Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial video. In this video we'll be replacing the background with a 360 photo and to do this we're going to need a few assets so we're going to be downloading a 360 image which will be available in the description down below alongside a inverted 3D sphere. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my sphere and again this will be available In the description down below so i'm going to select my sphere.fbx which has its normals inverted and i'm just going to drag this sphere into my scene and make sure it's not parented to my camera so i should end up with this perfect sphere here in its position being roughly where the position of the device is so zero 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 on all the axes Now I want to select the material for the sphere, go to texture, choose file, and this is where I'm going to choose my 360 image. So I have a few 360 images on my machine already, so I'm just going to find one. Like so, so I found my desired 360 image, which has now been applied to my material. So if you look in the preview window here, you can see the 360 image has been applied to that sphere but doesn't yet show up on our device as we'd expect it to. That's because there's a few things we need to do. So we need to, first off, we're gonna to need to change the call mode to be front. So we have it on blend mode replace and the call mode on front. So we should have the sphere shown like so. I'm also gonna select my sphere and I'm going to increase its scale for this model to be 1.6 on all the axes. Like, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I will now want to add in myself. So to do this, I'm going to go to add object, rectangle, and add this rectangle to my plane. So this rectangle is part of my canvas. I'm going to go to size, click on it to just to fill the width and the height of my canvas and then I'm going to create a new material and this new material will be what we apply our segmentation to. So to do segmentation I select the camera, I go to texture extraction and click on the little plus button to extract the camera texture feed and I'm going to do the same for segmentation. Now with that material that we've created for our rectangle I'm going to change its shader type to be flat, choose its texture to be my camera texture, and choose its alpha, and I enable it to be my person segmentation. I'm also now going to need to go to alpha test and turn that on. I'm just going to adjust the cutoff until it sort of looks more natural. So what we should have now is if I was to rotate my phone and click and drag, we should have our person, our self or our video segmented and a 360 sphere of the background available. We want to always make sure that the sphere is larger than the rotation uh, potential of our canvas, otherwise we can clip into it. So hence why I made sure that this sphere, for example, was 1.6 for this model. And the 360 image was just taken using a all-in-one 360 camera. Although you could photo stitch to create a similar effect. So like I said, this is a very easy to achieve effect. All you need is an inversible sphere with a fairly good polygon count. The uh, camera segmentation on a material and apply that to our canvas. We could also apply particle systems and we can also have those attached to our camera device so we could have particles emitting behind our person segmentation and to look at do that we would recommend looking at the layers and segmentation video that is also on this channel. So I've been Steen Fisher this has been another very short Spark AR tutorial video just showing you a very simple to achieve effect and again with this we could always apply uh, different colors and affect it in our patch editor. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.